Hi, my name is Lisa and you are watching One Lisa Show where I talk about all things sewing, crochet, knit and craft related things that make me happy in my life. Penny is in the background and she is on the bed in our guest bedroom playing with squeakies because that's what she's going to do when I'm trying to make a video. So I hope everybody's New Year's going well. I have been very busy. I've been very busy with work. What else is new? I always say I'm busy with work. And I've also been doing some sewing and uh, yarn art. Let me start with what I'm wearing today because it is it is in the negative digits here in Indiana. Yesterday I had an appointment around four o'clock in the afternoon and my car was reading negative five. But I am wearing uh, one of my earlier makes. This is Simplicity 1538. I gotta tell you, I only made this the one time. It was quite a project because it was early on in my sewing journey since COVID. And I have just made this one out of some flannel from Joann's. The pattern matching was awesome. The buttons were from Minerva. I don't know why. I have only made this the one time because I should have an arsenal of these for very cold winter days. It is perfect, snuggly, soft. It has seen better days because it's been through the wash and through the dryer so many times. And I wore this last week and I'm wearing it again today. I get compliments on it every time I wear it. I don't even remember what size I made of this, but I did cut the pattern. It is a simple button down shirt, long sleeves. It has different options for pockets and I think lapels. It has a gathered uh, pleat in the back, if you can see that. I love this shirt. I should be making more. Let's just add it to the many things I wanna make. I wanna make everything. As I stated, it has been very cold and I made a couple of items. I'm going to show you right now. I don't have pictures of me in them because it has been freezing. First up is this beautiful art gallery fabric I got uh, back in October, right after my surgery. I love it. I made a, what did I make? The Freya dress with the actual turtleneck option. It fits well. It's beautiful. I plan on wearing it on Wednesday because <laughs> I have meetings Wednesday. It's my first presidential meeting. And I'm going to wear this dress with some snuggly flannel lined tights and boots. Next up, I made uh, this weekend Simplicity 8982. This is growing fast as one of my favorite patterns. I did make version C, which is the t-shirt, but with the bishop gathered sleeves. This is interesting. I used a viscose jersey I had in my stash from Minerva. So I'm going to show this to you. I didn't put a tag on it. But here is the sleeve. I didn't even show you wear, me wearing it. Sorry. It is similar to a Freya. It has that mock turtleneck. But it comes out like a bell. It has got that bell shape and then a large cuff. This is a little long for me, so I actually had to fold the cuff up, but it still looks good. It's just a very drapey viscose jersey, and with it being lightweight and drapey, the structure's not there for this to really, this detail to really shine. In retrospect, I should have made just the version B shirt, which is a nice crew neck, slim fit shirt. I have made the dress version with short sleeves and I contemplated making a dress with long sleeves, but in the end I thought I have plenty of dresses and honestly in the winter I am a comfy pants, comfy shirt kind of gal. But I did make this and it feels great. It's very luxurious feeling, soft on your skin. I do like it. I will be wearing it and I probably will wear it this week with maybe some dress pants. And another thing I want to show you is something I have finally finished, but yet the project is only half done, if that makes sense. This is a sock. <laughs> a sock that I started in May. Finished it yesterday on a Sunday afternoon. The seam is not that great right here. It, there's plenty of mistakes throughout this sock. I have made this sock before. It's a Yarnspirations free pattern, except I did not do the decorative stitch 
in this version and I did the decorative stitch in the other versions. And this was a sock yarn that I got at my local yarn shop. I wanna say, I, I don't even have the label anymore. I couldn't quite tell you, I'd have to look at the label and I'd recognize the label, but I don't have it anymore. But this is a yarn I got a couple years back. And in May, I started this sock and I sat down this last two weeks and said, I'm going to finish it. I have seen some people on YouTube say that they can do a sock in four hours and six hours and eight hours. And I gotta tell you, I, I just don't believe them. I, I spent an hour doing this little section here from here where it starts the decrease in the toe to the end. It took me over an hour. And that was the decrease. I just, I'm not a quick knitter, especially when it comes to working with double pointed needles like these. <laughs> Maybe I just need more practice. I enjoy knitting. I do not enjoy the tenseness of making a sock. I have one more to make and then the pair will be complete. But I am happy that that has finally been finished. The other thing that I did this weekend, again, I don't have a picture for, but I had a giant Rubbermaid tote in the basement. It had been marked with permanent marker and said yarn 1297, which means back in 1997, I had a bunch of yarn and I kept it in that tote. And I have held on to that tote and whatever yarn comes and goes through the years gets thrown in that tote. On Saturday, I decided I was gonna sit down and go through that tote and go through what yarn I do have and make a plan because I really wanted to go to Joann's and buy some woolies that can quick yarn and make a sweater just like I made my one niece. And it was on, it's on sale right now. I had an additional 20% off coupon. I was, it was gonna be $4 a ball. I, I only need five or six balls for a sweater, probably six to be safe. I had gone so far as to see what was in stock at the Joann's I was gonna go to, see if they had enough of a color that I liked and I was gonna go buy that yarn and make that this weekend. And instead I went through my yarn bin. It's in better shape. I have put all the yarn in there, but I've divided it up into what I have balls of, put them in a bag, a clear bread bag. So that way, hopefully they won't come out and get tangled because when I did open up that bin, there was a massive ball of tangled yarn. And that massive ball of tangled yarn, I got as much as I could untangle out of it. And then the remainder of it, it ended up in the bin. And it's unfortunate because there were some things that I started years and years ago, but I have no clue what I started, what my intentions were, because it's been so long. There were strips where it could have been a blanket, it could have been a sweater, I couldn't quite tell and maybe crocheted this much. So I had two or three inches of crochet. I tried to untangle and, and frog and rip out as much of it as I could and save as much. But like I said, there was this massive like nucleus of a knot of all different yarns. So all of the scraps of yarns were balled up and put into one, a couple of bags, a light colored bag and a dark colored bag. And then anything I had multiple skeins of, I put in bags. That being said, I found four balls of this designer sport. I could take it out of this bag. This is the bag it was shipped in. I must have bought this years ago from Hirschner's Red Heart Designer Sport, and the color is Berry. This is a discontinued yarn. It's a weight three, and I had four of them. So, I knew after I finished that sock, I still have another sock to do, but I needed a better, like a palette cleanser. So I started my Granny Pop V-neck sweater. It's gonna be rough go. It, I'm gonna be playing yarn chicken. Is it gonna be enough yarn having four balls? I don't know, but this is the sweater I'm making in that berry color. I have looked online, it's discontinued. I did see on Ravelry, somebody had the exact same color that they would be willing to sell or trade. I may have to contact them to see if I could buy that last skein of berry. But I did start this last night. So I didn't get far, 
but I think it's going to be beautiful and hopefully uh, four balls will be enough because it's a very open lightweight and I'm making the size medium. My niece was an extra small and it was slightly big on her but it'll fit her again next year. That was Penny. Are you okay? If there is a squeaker under that bed you just have to wait. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squeakers on top of the bed. You just need to play with one of those. There's Penny. You can say hi. You don't want to say hi, do you? There you go. Say hi to everybody. What's out there? What's out there? You good girl? You are a good girl. Okay, get down. I don't remember where I was. And now I forgot where I was and what I was talking about. I've completely had a mind, um, a brain fart. So you can't even think of brain fart. So these are all the projects I've done, I'm working on. I This is a perfect palette cleanser. The color is very pretty and vibrant. And I think it'll be great a great crochet project that I can kind of relax to. I am definitely a more confident crocheter. And even then, watching some YouTubers out there that crochet and knit, I realized I am, I, I know very little compared to what some of these fabulous crafters know. Next up on my agenda is a pair of jeans. I think I'm ready to tackle jeans again. I have the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans pattern. I'm excited and I'm looking forward to working on that. I don't know which view I'll make just yet, but I am, I have the denim out, the denim I got at Minerva a while ago. I have watched, washed it multiple times and I am ready, aiming, willing to start that project. I'd love to make another one of these shirts, but by the time this shirt, a new shirt got done, I think we'll have a heat wave. And then finally, one thing I want to point out, if you haven't gone to Joann's, they do have a great clearance sale right now on their remnant fabrics. So definitely take time and go, go check it out. Um, I'm noticing you can still buy some of these fabrics online for maybe four or five dollars a yard. And specifically, I like their pop knits apparel fabrics. I think they're fun, they're cheeky, they're they're a thicker cotton blend and that's what I like because they'll uh, kind of out, outlast a little bit longer, a little bit longer. Oh, I do remember something I wanted to show. One of my Christmas presents I never got a chance to acknowledge. One of my Christmas presents this year I want to show off to everybody because I'm really blessed. My mother-in-law got me a pair of shears for sewing. Very nice. Guggenheims. I, I'm actually scared to use them still. I've only done a couple of projects in it. They were those knit items there so I have used the rotary cutter. <laughs> but these come in a plastic sleeve. Pretty box and they are really nice pair of shears. Very nice. It was a very nice, generous gift from her. I do love them. But like I said, I am a little nervous to just dive in and use them. They may, be come, they may come out for the denim though because that probably is something I would need them and they would excel at cutting my denim. Style Arc has a new pattern out. And I actually don't know if it's new. It, I think it's new. It was sent to me in an email. So if you have the email, I'm going to put a screenshot here, but it's a summer dress. And I have realized I'm only gonna do a couple more winter themed items this year. And I'm gonna start moving on to my spring and summer because I flourish in spring and summer. I love wearing the summer dresses. I don't like wearing dresses so much in the winter, but in the summer, I love wearing a good dress. And I love casual dresses because I do show a lot more homes in the summer. We do a lot more open houses. So it's nice to feel polished and wear something unique and completely my style and just shine. And those are my favorites. So Style Arc had a great um, halter style dress. So I think that with a cardigan and if I'm lucky, I might be able to knit myself a cardigan soon that would match, but I would love to get this pattern. So that's on my to-do list is to get this pattern and uh, give that a whirl come closer to uh, spring. 
But again, I only have a couple of things I think I'm going to work on between now and uh, for winter makes. I think the Dawn jeans, and I can't call denim jeans a winter make. I'm working on this open knit crocheted sweater. I can't call that a winter make either. I might do one or two more tops just to have, but I think my winter makes are pretty much wrapped up and it's time to start working on spring because it will be here before we know it. And I wanna have all the fun stuff made and just take it from there. So there you have it. You have all the things I've been working on since the beginning of the year. Penny's been here helping me out this whole time. I need to make another one of these tops. We still have another cold day ahead of us tomorrow. And if I have time, I'm going to do some sewing. And I hope you find some time to do something creative wherever you are in this section of the world. Thank you for watching.